know when you prop your phone up against something and then it's not heavy enough so then your phone and the thing fall and it's like so annoying we don't know her anymore okay hey y'all it's cheyenne and today we are going to be talking about the spiking case and then the moft stand wallet i just got my lovely lovely iphone 12 so when looking for accessories i saw a mag safe and i was like what is that and when i learned about it i said sign me up <laughs> but sign me up on amazon because um as of right now i don't have that apple money i have the black iphone 12 and basically what mag safe is is that there's like a ring of magnet in here and you can stick accessories on for example this is a magnetized wallet so then you can just stick it on and y'all this magnet in here is like super strong like this is like hard to budge if y'all can see let me see let me show y'all so i'm trying to budge it and it's like it's kind of hard to push off like if i'm trying to push it off it doesn't really work um ignore my broken nail but yeah it's like really hard to get off um of course you know you can like slide it off and then grab it off but i would just say like if you're wearing this and like something rubs against it it's kind of harder to get it off so the magnet is really strong but you know most of us would use a case with this so it does not work through regular cases so you need to get a mag safe case the one that we're going to be diving in first is the spigen mac armor so this is what it came in and then this is what it looks like um it only comes in one color which is black but that's okay because my phone is black this is black I don't need a different color so basically what it has in here if y'all can tell um it has the magnetized ring so the magnet still works through the case but i do have this screen protector on it's from amazon i paid 550 for it i have seen it as low as five dollars this is really great by the way let's just stop for a second if you're gonna get a screen protector i do recommend this because it came with um this piece to help you attach the screen protector and it made it so easy um, so I do definitely recommend this from Amazon. It was only like five bucks. But you know, read the reviews. This was just like super easy. A lot easier than when I first put my case on for the six. This is kind of how close it is to the edge. You can kind of tell. Um, the screen protector is quite close. But um, this does still fit. So let's put this in so I can show you guys. Pretty easy. Bam. All snapped in and the screen protector um doesn't you know really affect it so if you are gonna go with this case this screen protector they work well together so something that i've noted with this case is that it is pretty smooth um so if you like to have something a little bit more grippy this is pretty smooth i'm used to clear cases they actually do make this case in clear as well i just heard that the buttons um that are on the side are a little less tactile with the clear one so I went with this one instead. It is pretty smooth. It does like slip through your fingers a little bit. But I'm also biased because I've had clear cases for the last years now. So to have a smoother case, I might just not be used to it. This is the case. And if you can see here, you can kind of see the ring. Um, you can't see it really when you're looking straight at it if you don't know. And it doesn't bother me that you can like kind of see it. Totally okay with me. Um, something I did notice is that, for example, with this case, um, it is a bit easier to go ahead and slide the wallet off. You know, earlier I was a little bit tugging at it to get it off. Here it does, like, come off a bit. Um, so let me do like this. So it does come off, but the magnet is still strong. Like, um, you know, it, like, doesn't come off all the way. And this is me, like, pushing on it. You know, if I were to just pass on it or something, like, it wouldn't really, like, budge like that um so i think this is a good case it is a lot stronger without the case of course but i wouldn't put my iphone without a case so and i don't honestly know how this one compares to the apple ones because i don't have that but for me this works pretty well like look 
you know, it'll still stay on, of course. I do really like this case. I'm sure that the clear one is a little less smooth, um, which I prefer, but then again, the buttons. So I went with this. Um, this totally works for me. I really like it. I think it's uh, protecting the phone nicely as well. I haven't dropped it like that, but it seems sturdy. So this is my review on the Spigen case. Would I recommend? Yes. Um, I love this MagSafe feature and even though it's not as strong as the phone by itself, I think it's still really, really useful, especially if you get the MagSafe chargers that go attached to this. Um, I think it'll stay on perfectly fine. Let's move on to the Moft um, Snap-on Phone Stand and Wallet, which is compatible with MagSafe. Um, this is kind of what the box looked like. And then on the back, this is kind of like all the functions on the back so you can kick it up like these three and then what's really cool is that you can also put your magsafe charger this is what it looks like you can also put this in between the phone so that you have like a stand so if you do have a magsafe charger you wouldn't need to like buy a stand or for it because you could just put the magsafe charger right here and then put the phone right here and it would charge and it would stand up so this is a great little two-in-one actually a three-in-one let's talk a little bit more about this so i told you kind of how it sticks already i feel like it does stick quite well i think it sticks a little better to the phone itself like really really strongly but to this case it does stick um now something i wouldn't really recommend is using this as like i'm gonna throw this into my pocket and then have my wallet attached to my phone because Let's say, you know, this is the pocket, you slip it in, and then you get your phone out. If you rub it against your clothes, it will come off. So let me demonstrate that again. Like, let's say, like, you know, this is your pocket, and then you put it in, and then you try to get it out, and you get it out like this, it will fall off. But if you are being careful when you pull it out, it can also, you know, come out on your phone. So I would say that you have to be cautious of this. It's not really like, a, oh, I'm putting it on, I can forget it, it's glued on there. It's not, but I think that's the beauty of it. And I would just treat these two like a card wallet and a phone, and it just easily attaches, but it's not like super glue, right? Um, so you just kind of know, like I would throw this in together in my purse and then get it out and it's like, oh, your wallet is on your phone. But also if your wallet is in your purse, you know, no big deal. So now that I've talked about the magnet, you guys, this is my favorite feature in the world. And this is kind of why we're at my desk, so I can show you guys. Let me demonstrate one more time. So this is what the wallet um, looks like. It's pretty sleek against the phone. Um, and then you can go ahead and pull this out and plop this against this. So now it's a phone stand. So let me show y'all. This is really great for FaceTime actually or you know having your phone stand next to you listening to music or anything what i also love is that when you're chilling in your bed you know you can just like turn it sideways like this so this is what it'll look like from the back and then you can just like watch a movie and you don't have to worry about propping your phone up next to something you know when you prop your phone up against something and then it's not heavy enough so then your phone and the thing fall and it's like so annoying we don't know her anymore okay this detachable stand is so amazing. I love doing this. And then the third kind of thing you can do is, this is kind of how the phone is. You can turn this and then you can let it stand like this. And then you can like watch a movie or something. Like, isn't this like the coolest thing? I love this as a stand. And I know it's like, you know, you can just buy a case that comes with the stand, but this way, you know, this is not bulky. But also you can just have your phone regular and it's not bulky at all and then you can attach it so that is the main feature that i use this for um i adore this like it sounds so silly like oh phone stand but no when you're facetiming when you're watching something when you're eating and you know you're watching your show you can just put it like this and it's literally great i'm so in love with this now I did hear that if you have an iPhone 12 like Pro, because they are bigger, it is a little bit harder to prop them up and they are more likely to fall. But if you have the iPhone 12, the iPhone Pro, like that's fine. But if you have the Pro Max, um, that one might fall, but I don't know. But this one, it's perfect. I love this thing so much. I didn't even think I was gonna love it that much. And then the last feature is obviously the wallet. So the wallet is hidden here. So when it's closed, you can't see your cards. 
when it's open you can see your cards and you can just go ahead and slide this in here so like this and then when you close it it's gone and you can go ahead and add it to your phone done i would treat these two kind of separately like it's a phone stand wallet that can attach to your phone just around the house just in your purse like it's perfectly fine um and then you can go ahead and get to the card and then you could just pull it out it can hold up to three cards so let's go ahead and do that you can see on amazon that there were some reviews about people losing like their ids and stuff because they had it on here and then they lost the wallet because it fell off so just please you know be very careful when you are using this again i think it's really cool you just need to be conscious of it okay so i fit three cards in there they're stacked up kind of weird can y'all see that but hey that's okay so let's close it up still super thin this is kind of what it looks like still has the same functionality so that is lovely let's say i need a card i can just pull it out quickly you'll have to probably pull out the first one before you can get to the last one so um that is something to keep in mind but the cards fit in there i mainly love it for the stand i know that sounds so silly but it's really great and i think i would treat this as like a card wallet when you're trying to run somewhere and then just making sure that you do have it in your hand like this so that you know and that you're conscious of it being there but i 100 percent recommend this okay it is great um i think the spiking case was around 20 dollars, and this phone wallet stand was 35 which is more expensive than i usually pay for a case and a phone stand but y'all these are so worth it and with this just coming in black and this being black you know it just all worked out all black everything so yeah i highly recommend especially the wallet but also the case i do want to try out the clear one but is it necessary no so i probably won't but yeah this is literally so great um i've been loving my iphone 12 um this is kind of like what my screen looks like if you guys want to see like how i customize it to make it like a little bit more aesthetic and stuff um but not too much because i ain't got time for all that um go ahead and leave me a comment down below because i think it turned out pretty cute so i'd love to share that but yeah i really hope that this review was helpful for y'all highly recommend i got them on amazon and i'll catch you in my next video so make sure to subscribe so you won't miss it <laughs> bye y'all